Hello and welcome to Otten Math. Very exciting information to give to you today. We're going to talk about the HL or the hypotenuse leg postulate. And we'll go over a proof of the hypotenuse leg postulate at the end of the lesson, which is not very long. Okay, so the hypotenuse leg postulate says that if there is a correspondence between the vertices of two right triangles such that the hypotenuse and the leg of one triangle are congruent to the corresponding parts of the other right triangle, then the two triangles are going, are going to be congruent. So first requirement is we need to have two right triangles. Second requirement is we have two the two hypotenuses that are congruent and the two legs are congruent. And if that's the case, then we have two congruent triangles. So again, hypotenuse leg postulate, which you can abbreviate as HL postulate, says that if there exists a correspondence between the vertices of two right triangles such that the hypotenuse and a leg of one triangle are congruent to the corresponding parts of the other, so the hypotenuse and the leg of the other, then the two right triangles are going to be congruent. All right, so that's the end of the lesson, uh, with the exception of using this theorem or this postulate in a two column proof and also proving the postulate itself. So I want you to think about this particular diagram and you can stop the video. We're given the diagram is shown. We're going to use this diagram to prove the HL postulate. So we want to prove triangle ABD is congruent to triangle CBD. So ABD congruent to CBD. We know that BD is congruent to itself. We're given two right triangles, and we know AB is congruent to CB. Right, so let's move on to the proof. Right, so I have the diagram as shown. I want to prove that a triangle ABD is congruent to CBD. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line from A to C. So I draw my auxiliary line from A to C. <clears throat> and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to say that uh, angle BAC is congruent to BCA. So angle BAC is congruent to BCA. <clears throat> so I have these two triangles that are congruent. And I can say that because if I have sides that are congruent, then the corresponding angles are also congruent. So now I have uh, angle BAC congruent to BCA. Then I'm going to say that angle DAC, for the same reason, is congruent to DCA. Um, I can actually, I'm sorry, not for the same reason, but I'm going to subtract. I know that uh, angle BAD is a right angle. I know that BCD is a right angle. And I know that BAC and BCA are congruent. So if I subtract congruent angles from congruent right angles, then their differences are going to be congruent. So the differences in this case are going to be angles B, excuse me, angles DAC and angle DCA. So these two angles are going to be congruent. Now I can say if the angles are congruent, so I'm going the opposite way, then the sides opposite of them are congruent. So side DA is congruent to DC, and you can see that I've marked up the sides accordingly. So DA congruent to DC. And then the last thing I need to say <clears throat> is that The triangles BAD and BCD now are congruent by side, by side, BA congruent to BC, which was given, angle, the right angle, side, AD and DC. So I have two congruent triangles uh, by side, angle, side. So that's the proof of the HL postulate. Now let's use that in a proof. So here we have a circle with uh, uh, center O, and OF is the altitude to EG. I want to prove that EF is congruent to FG. So EF congruent to FG. And I'm going to use the hypotenuse leg postulate as part of this particular problem to call and proof. So I'm going to mark up the diagram. <clears throat> and this first is, I know OF, segment OF is an altitude. That's given. Then I know that OFE and OFG are right angles, and that's the definition of an altitude, so OF is an altitude to EG. Then I'm going to say that OF is congruent to OF. So OF from the center of the altitude is congruent to itself. Now I can say that 
uh, OE and OG are congruent. So I have now uh, my OF is congruent to OF. That's my leg. And then my hypotenuse is going to be the radius of the circle. So OE and OG are congruent. So I have two right angles because I have an altitude to EG. I have OF, which is congruent to itself. And then I have two of the, or the hypotenuse for each of the respective triangles that are congruent to each other because I know all radii of a circle are congruent. So I can say now that OFE, triangle OFE, is congruent to triangle OFG by the HL postulate. And I state the statements and reasons that support that claim or that reason. And then I can say EF is congruent to FG by CPCTC.